Hi there friends and welcome to episode 9 of the tutorial sect. I'm Icon and in this episode we're going to create our first golden core cultivator. Golden core is the stage which is reached after you have surpassed the core shaping stage. So we're going to talk about this whole golden core topic more than once. This is going to be the first time and not the last time. I'm going to put up Zuruji now to her first uh, breakthrough here. And what we're going to do today is I will try to get Zuruji to the Golden Core stage while Helion will not be will not be climbing to the new stage. Why it will make sense at the end of the episode. I'm going to talk about that. Right now, It's uh, it would be a bit too early to explain that. Meanwhile, Zuruji has now broken through to the core shaping stage. Now, it's the same procedure as usual. We will have to break through these next stages there. So we have to gather enough experience to reach the bellows stage and then the earth fire stage and then we'll be finally done with that. But to get there, we're going to study a couple of new techniques there. So thank you guys so much for all those comments in between the episodes. There's been a lot of things that I didn't even know about and a couple of new things. And whenever I, I catch up new information, I will add it into these episodes wherever I deem, see it fit. So I think, I don't know if it was among, uh, during the tutorial sect or in another series, somebody was asking me if it's not a bad thing to study these counteractive here, these counteractive skills. Because they, they cost a ton of inspiration. If you see it like that, it even costs the triple amount of inspiration. So technically, it's absolutely right to try to skip these skills if you can. But I personally always felt like it is worth the attainment as long as, it's, is, as it is a max chi improver. Anything else, if it's not connective, like uh, things that don't increase your maximum chi or increase your speed of absorbing chi, if it's not connective, if it's even counteractive, well, you could be actually considering to leave it out. So the Aquamarine Chant here, for example, I'm going to leave it out for now. Not because I don't want to learn it, but because I want to see if my inspiration is still enough after I've learned all that. So let's send Ruji over there and learn all the Max Chi skills there are, there are in the library. Because Max Chi skills are among the most important skills to master if you want to achieve the Golden Core stage. I'm going to explain that later. So, the doggo. <coughs> Defecate in the fields. Yeah, why not, dude? Shouldn't you be already past the hesitation of these acts? Anywho. So, as we see here, her... See here, her skills, or her maximum chi amount is climbing quite well. But sadly, her inspiration is already used up. I kind of like expected that because we don't have that much inspiration available. And Mount South is only creating 4,400 points of belief per day, so it's going to take a couple of days to get there. So instead, we're going to go back to the practice and enjoy our new state of mind. Okay. So here I'm going to push Zuruji as hard as I can towards the next breakthrough stage going to try and allocate as much spirit wood as possible here because you know it is handy to have that chop chop friends there's uh, spirit wood is in my personal opinion the best material to grab for your first fire cultivator rooms it's available it's powerful, and fire cultivators are always good to have. I'm going to explain why um, in the next few steps. So Helion is now back home, and well, we're going to send her to the next stages of of breaking through here. But I'm pretty sure she will be not able to break through beyond that. But let's see. 
There's no reason not to let her use the uh, her mental state here. Okay, so we see. There's the first barrier already reached. And let's go to mind training again. And Yan Penyun is under attack. Okay. There we go. So Spirit Wood is now a little bit more available again. We have 16 logs, so let's start placing them. Holding down the left shift key to queue up more commands in the room. It's really useful to do so. So we need four more to fill the entire room. But that's already a pretty uh, pretty decent start, I dare, I dare say. So for for some reason my dudes can't just punch a beard. Okay, so I'm just letting Ruji recover her mental uh, state again, before sending her to the next breakthrough. And I skipped away the text there, but I shouldn't have done that. So if there's some informational text for your breakthroughs, try to read that. There's usually good information in there. Passerby is in need of help. If you help these people, it only gives you a slight bonus towards your reputation, and you're doing a small good deed, if I remember correctly. The, in case you're wondering, the the alignment here, uh, good or evil, is a helps you to well determines which sects love or hate you, because some sects are evil and some are good so basically when you're good you can cooperate with a good sect better and if you're evil you can cooperate with the evil sects better and vice versa so okay if doggo wants to eat something which you can spare always let him eat that because the dog grows stronger with every everything he eats so there's no reason not to let him eat when he wants to eat something so meanwhile Ruji has done her next breakthrough wonderful so there we go in case you hate this uh, little mini game of managing the meditation of your of your cultivators in general there's a mod called Elysium which can help you there it basically the mod basically uh does the micromanagement for you. I never do that because I personally like to have some sort of micromanagement, but maybe I will use it one day. Right now I'm not. So, oh, there's bear gall lying around it. Well, this stuff is actually too good to not use it, but I don't have anybody that I want to recruit here right now, so too bad. Gall basically builds the experience bar here if you eat it. Just gonna show you. Mr. Penguin. Have a bite. You see here, boom, big amount of experience. And a lot of items you can eat give you a medicine resistance. In case you're wondering, here a heart icon and there's this little arrow here where you can slide out. This window shows you the medicine medicine resistances of people medicine re resistance basically is easily explained as diminishing returns the more medicine resistance your character has the less rewards he or she will receive for the specific item and also never try to let a mortal person eat too much because once they are bloated they will die afterwards a little bit uh, drastic, but it's just like that. It's like people can't explode if they eat too much. Not literally, but... Figuratively speaking. Okay, so let's explore a little bit here. I need a wee bit more spirit wood. Oh, I see a source. So I'm clicking away many of these events right now, so... In case you're wondering, whoop, all these events which I click away can be found in the secret menu here. We found some traces of the of an evil sect. This is an event which you can play, but I won't right now, due to specific reasons, which I will explain later when we go for these events. 
So my dog can finally see it, it seems. Good stuff. Me happy now. Okay, so we have now the necessary spirit wood to complete the cultivation chamber. That's good. Always try to complete these cultivation chambers as quick as possible because it really changes a lot about the, the speed your person develops. So, there we go. Like, the experience gained in a well-equipped room is completely different to the experience you gain in a badly equipped room. So, yeah, this is already the next well, the next step is already going to be the Golden Core Breakthrough. And unlike... Wait a sec. Mr. Pengyun is crippled. Okay. Somebody... He's dead. Rest in peace, my man. What led to destruction of neck? <laughs> so, uh, I can only guess that the bear killed him. Which is kind of tragic. You see, uh, mortal people can really easily die in this game. So, just thought I just didn't pay attention for a moment there. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, whatever. It's not the end of the world. So, Ruji, we're going to... Where was I? Yeah. Golden Core Breakthrough. So, when you check out the Golden Core Breakthrough, most, of, most things are the same as usual. But there's another thing, and you see here the estimated quality. Unlike the other breakthroughs, I don't see a percentile value here. I see a certain quality which we will reach. As we see here, the... Uh, the aspects influencing that are just like any other breakthrough, chi bonus, element, mental state, weather, yin yang, season and law. We all know we, we know all these factors from the other breakthroughs, but this time it means a little bit more. So the quality, the lower the number in the quality rating goes, the better. So the best golden core quality you can achieve is quality one. But that does not exactly mean that there's an end to that. I'm going to explain that later. I'm so sad that uh, this guy died. So, if that happens to you, you can't always find recruits in the, in the uh, villages outside. But we're going to cover up other methods of recruiting people later down the road, too. So, let's check out Mount Sal. Mount South has allocated a nice amount of inspiration again, so let's send Zuruji over there and uh, grab us some more inspiration. Because the thing with the Golden Core Breakthrough is this. You only can do it once per life. Sounds first a little bit weird, but since you are reincarnating in this game a lot, it does make sense. So what this means is... You need to prepare yourself as good as possible before doing the Golden Core Breakthrough. Because this is basically a one-shot thing. The quality of your Golden Core can only be changed after reincarnating and retrying it again. So the quality of the Golden Core is influenced by all these things that we see here, the mental state, the weather, the day of the time, the season, and the law. Well, the law here means how good your stats fit to the law, by the way. So, the good time of the year, the seasonal time, if you put your cursor over here where I have it here and uh, right-click there, you see this really, really useful little table which shows you the perfect days for Golden Core Breakthroughs. Usually I don't rely on spoil material too much, but since it's a pain in the rear to see the, pro the, the best days, this is a really, really useful thing. So we would see here the best time uh, for a fire cultivator to break through would be spring, day 9 to 13. Since we're in autumn, day 6, we're really, really far away from, from that. So there's no use in waiting for the proper... Well, the proper season. If you want to go for really good golden core breakthroughs, if you want to have a really good golden core, 
try to aim for these times and prepare for, towards these times. But there's one thing that I'm personally that I personally can recommend, and that's the first golden core shouldn't be to, taken too seriously, because you really don't have that much benefit if you wait for your first golden core to be massively good or something like that. If you can, try to get past quality 8, if possible, but honestly, every, everything above quality 9 is actually quite good. So let's see what Zuruji can still do here with her remaining inspiration. So base mood value and base mental state ain't that important. The most important things here are Max Chi. Max Chi and Chi Recovery are the most important stats when you want to go for a golden core breakthrough. So here, max G improved by 75%, that's what I want to have. And base max G, the numbers here might be very low, like only 25 person, uh, points getting increased, but you, you need to put that into perspective. The 25 points will be multiplied by all these percentile values that you have acquired already. And therefore, 25 points can be quite a big leap. Like for example here, these 25 points resulted in almost 200 points of chi at the end of the day. So the more percentile bonuses you have, the more powerful these increases grow. So don't underestimate them. So as you see here, these two skills already made a nice shove towards the quality 7. Not bad. Let's see what we can do besides that. As you see here, the more skills you have in your sect, the easier it will be to achieve good, to achieve high quality golden cores. But let's just let her learn the intelligence uh, skill there, because uh, her law fit might benefit from that. High stats are always good, because as you see here, the higher your stats, the better your law fit. Hey, we gained another pip here. Okay, nice. So that's as good as it can be. We're now just waiting for that a little bit. As you see here, the mental state can be also is also a thing which we can increase. A passerby wants to join us. So what's up with you? Not really some somebody I would want to have, but whatever. <laughs> I don't want to be too picky here right now. So, with the mental state thingy, there was a skill which increased the base uh, mental state of your people. Show it one more time. So here, base mental state modified by 10. This is one thing which you can use to, to get that, uh, that thing easier to a high rating. There's also methods to permanently decrease the mental state here, but that's something for another day. For now, we're just waiting to have a mental state which is on five pips. That's been reached, and now the only thing... Here, the mental state is so awesome. I think it was 90, if I remember correctly. There we go. Well, okay, whatever. So, yin-yang, as we see here, fire has a bonus during daytime. So let's just do that. We will acquire a quality 7 golden core. Well, let's see. There's one more thing which we can do. So, well, there are more things which, which, which we can do, but I don't want to cover the more advanced methods of pumping up your, your cultivator's uh, golden cores here. Right now, there's more you can do, but we're going to cover up that later. The only thing that I want to cover up now is that there are spirit stones here. Spirit stones improve your chi affinity for a certain period of time, which translates directly into a higher absorption rate of chi, which translates directly into better golden core results. If it's confusing to you, it's going to be a lot clearer once we start with a breakthrough. Don't you worry. So the last thing that I want to check out is if there's some 
powder in my possession which increases my chi regeneration but it doesn't seem like there is when you're breaking through it's always a good idea to check out all the items that you have which are in some sort eatable or usable because there's a lot of items which help you a ton okay but enough of the preparations now zuruji will do her breakthrough thing it's still quality seven the spirit stone didn't change too much about that so let's get started so now as we see here the big change is there's this bar tier nine golden core and right now she's channeling chi what this means is she's trying to accumulate as much chi as possible until this breakthrough bar is has ran through and according to my knowledge this is influenced by the amount of chi in your vicinity created by the room and the better the items in that room the better it's also influenced by your chi sense the higher the better because that's a higher chi absorption and a higher amount of maximum chi and at the end of the day of course the total amount of maximum chi the higher these stats are the better the quality of the golden core and as you see here the bar ticks through and through and through and we go we we, we get a little bit uh, deeper towards uh, tier seven here and basically the further you get the bar the better so when you have the insane luck well, it's not that much luck, but if you manage to get a tier 1 golden core, this bar will still run and run and run and run and run and until the breakthrough is done. What this means is if you have a cultivator, which is even better than rank 1, because he achieves the necessary amount of uh, points there in no time, they can even grow better beyond that. But the game doesn't really register that. Not really that important, but what is important is... The higher the quality here is, the more max chi you will get for your golden core breakthrough. And that's really, really important. Because the more max chi you have, that's like I said before in, the, in, in episodes before, before that, max chi is, for one, kind of like your maximum mana pool. A lot of skills need a certain amount of chi. If your pool is too low, you can't even use them at all. And it's also kind of your hit points. So the more chi you have, the harder it is to kill you. So therefore, you want to have a high, a as high as possible rank of your first uh, of the golden core in general. Okay, so now you have a, a few ideas. It's beginner's knowledge. This is solid for you to go for your first golden cores. But why do I say that it's not important to have a good golden core first? That's because. The Golden Core receives, per se, a 200% Adventure Fly Speed bonus. This is massive. The difference between a Golden Core travel time and a Core Shaper travel time is insane. So, if you let's just, let's just check it out. Let's send an adventure to Alchemist's Peak, which is here. So, Zuruji, 0.67 days, and Hellion Hua, 1 day. Since Golden Core people can now travel a lot faster across the map, we have now ac easier access to a lot of different materials. But not only that, the higher the rank, the higher the success chance of many, many events in the game. So there's a lot of good things here to, uh, with that. And therefore, we are now able to send our first cultivator around the world for all manner of different adventures, which is really good for us because this will help us a ton to stay alive in the next time or at least gather our materials that we want to have. So if you want to create really good golden cores, it is of course important that the chi sense skill is as high as possible that's why heli and hua was a really really good pick in to begin with and of course the stats should be a good fit for the law but that's something which you can which you can tweak along the side but beyond that there's other tricks than to increase the maximum chi on your people but that's uh, all things which i will cover up when we try to get a really good golden core on Heli and Hua because these tricks are not that important right now. For you, for your first golden core attempts, 
try to learn as many skills out of this uh, out of these libraries as possible equip that uh, cultivation chamber where you do the uh, actual breakfast as good as possible like only items with the proper element and the strongest chicaderas that you can muster and if possible do it uh, for at the right time of the year of course but there's really no shame to have horrible horrible beginner golden course but the most important thing why it is so great to have a, a golden core early on i haven't mentioned yet either silly me golden core also means that you have access to an entirely new tier of skills and when we check these out uh, well, this is not a real good example because we haven't uh, worked with these yet. When you have the access for the uh, to the golden core skills for the first time, let's see. Ah, oh, well, let's do it like that. So we now can learn a couple of new skills. When you when you check it out, the required state core shaping and so on. Some skills have the required state. Wait a sec. I picked the wrong person, haven't I? Here. Yeah, that's what I wanted to check out. So there are now skills marked as golden core. And the thing here is golden core skills are in general much stronger than anything before that you have found. After Golden Core, of course, you will find access to the primal spirit, primordial spirit skills, which are even stronger than that. But well, there's a lot of good good things that we can acquire now. So it's not only stat increasers. If you check this out, artifact power bonus modified by 400% is pretty much at this point. There's a lot of good things that we can learn. Stargazer removes the fog of war, increases perception by 20%. There's a lot of good things. Also, we have now access to, most importantly, to new miracles. For example, weather miracles. Weather miracles are really, really important because with these, we are able to manipulate the weather for even better golden core breakthroughs. Because the thing here is, Weather is a really nice influence on your golden core quality, which can be, well, sometimes weather just happens randomly, but most of the time you will need to manipulate the weather to your own favor to get anything going. Okay, so to summarize that, the first golden core doesn't need to have the super high quality, because basically it only determines how far you will get in your cultivation career and the first golden core cultivator will be most likely reincarnated later anyways to redo it better. For example, in this scenario I do actually already plan to reincarnate Zuruji to give her a proper retry of her breakthrough in the next spring. But the first golden core gives you way more mobility on the map because it's way easier to travel now. And also access to new skills which you haven't had access before, to before. So it's a, it's a very, very beneficial situation. So next episode we're going to explore our vicinity a little bit more thoroughly. I want to make contact with my neighbors and get a few things going there. And well, we're going to now dive into the, into the, we're, we're going to leave the absolute beginner phase and start to transition from, from the early game into the mid game slowly. We will now work on expanding our sect, expanding our power, building new agencies, building new contacts and most importantly, get more disciples because that's just a very, very hmm, low amount of people here. Okay, I guess that's enough for one episode. I hope you guys like what I liked so far, what I put up here for the Golden Course. I know things are a little bit confusing at the beginning, but like I said so many times before, this game is not called Amazing Confusion Simulator for no reason. Drop your comments down below, ask away and when you still have questions. 
I'll gladly answer those. Leave a thumbs up on that video to make it more visible. And thank you guys one more time for all these awesome comments. They were very welcome. I don't find the time to answer everything yet uh, in the last few days, but know that I read almost everything. So check out the channel, though. Subscribe if you want to. Have a nice day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.